guys, so the mail went, and so I officially have a new unboxing for you guys. This is from the Lit Love Box. I don't think they've been going for very long. Uh, this will probably be one of the very last videos other than the one from tomorrow uh, before, ooh, that looks cool, before I head to ALA, which will be about 10 hours in the car with four children and three adults. So it's going to be a very eventful eventful day on Wednesday night. All right, so uh, this month's box was called Unsung Heroes. This was actually sent for review, so I did not pay for this box, just so you guys know. And the first thing in this box is some very cute ties from, I think it says Manatee Gifts. And here you go there. I really like these. You can actually buy these, this uh, fabric stuff from Walmart. And uh, they make really good bookmarks. I really love, actually I have one right here. They make really good bookmarks because they don't kill your pages. These uh, are these could probably be used as bracelets or hair thingies. Um, these are a little small for uh, for bookmarks, but I do love them. There's little foxes on it and arrows and stuff. I love these things. They're awesome. Next thing in here looks something that we don't really use very often. I know I have a trackpad, so I don't use this, but it is a mouse pad. That I have upside down with a spider on it and and code. That's pretty cool. It says uh, hawk or something. System alert, system alert. So it looks like it's, they're being hacked. And this is from coffeeandsass.com. So there is that. Don't think I've ever gotten a mouse pad in a box before. All right, let's see. The next thing, of course, is their little... The little paper it says that this has this box is eighty five dollars in value and I just fooled myself on what the book is, but this book looks awesome. I think I've actually seen this book before. So next is a little bookmark here from JessicaPierceBooks.com. There's that Atlas Fallen a magnetic bookmark, and this is from I guess this is a promo piece actually. Okay, that's cool. That's cute. And we have a signed book plate, so you guys know what the book is. It is Atlas Fallen. Uh, let's see. And then we've got a card here. See how it all began in Dead Star. A selection of Cyber Crown short stories coming soon. So there's that, and there is a thing there. That's so pretty. I really like that print. That's gorgeous. And then we have another little card. It says, I would remember the stars if it meant... I could be with you. So there's that. And there's a, I love that dress. That's pretty. And here is the book Atlas Fallen. And this is published by Lost City Publishers. So there's that. This actually looks interesting. I might take this with me. I've got a bag of books that I am taking with me to ALA to read in the car. So, oh goodness. <laughs> I'm going to try and do nothing but read. I get to drive first out of the three of us because uh, Heather, of course, who is, uh, we're going to be staying with them for the for their vacation, and my husband have all been working, well, will have been working all day on Wednesday, so I'm the only one that, that isn't working, technically. So I get to drive first while everybody else sleeps. It's going to be a long, long trip out of Florida. Uh, so this is Birch and Vet. That vetiver. It's a soy candle. This is from M. Harris. Shop M. Harris. Okay, so so this smells like. Ooh, I should. Ooh, I actually really like that. Ooh, and that is really full. I mean, that is like all the way to the top. It's a little soft, but I mean, it is a soy candle, but it's not melted. So yay. All right, and then we have this box in here. So let's see what's in this box. Oh, it's a mug. We got a mug. <laughs> it says, why is it always me? That's awesome. This is fun. Let's see. All right, so it's a Neville Longbottom inspired mug. Why is it always me? I was like, I was thinking that was a Harry Potter reference, but... I wasn't thinking. That's cute. That's adorable. And this is made like a normal mug. It doesn't feel like um, like I'm going to kill it. So that's awesome. This was a great box. Um, 
I know that they just finished up their rep search for the next two months, so you guys will be able to see who won that here pretty soon. And uh, this, I'm actually really excited for this. Don't care too much for the mouse pad because I'm not going to be able to use it, but I really like this candle. And I mean, you guys know me. I'm very pickle about pick, pickle. I'm pickle. I'm picky about about my candle scents. This smells really good. This smells really, really good. It's a very like a light, a light smell. It doesn't really smell like birch though. Kind of, I don't know what I'm smelling in this. It smells very, very, very spring and summer. So I mean, that's like perfect. But this, this, I've seen this book. I want to read this book. To escape the station, she'll have to save it. That sounds really good. Let's see. Tesla Petra, which I'm probably pronouncing completely wrong, daughter of an infamous trader, no longer lives a life of promise in the Atlas Space Station's elite flight training program. Stripped of her military rank and banished to the slums, she now scrapes out a brutal existence competing in illegal robot fights for Minko, ruthless leader of the Red Ashes Crime Syndicate. Go figure I can pronounce that. Uh, but when a wrong move uh, costs her a fight and a fortune for the crime lord, Tesla knows her days aboard the Atlas are numbered. And then it says, Daxon LaRose isn't just visiting the station to celebrate the centennial of the crown. He's hunting a terrorist threatening, threatening to end a century of peace on Earth. To do so, he'll need someone who knows the station, someone willing to strike a deal at any cost, someone like Tesla. Uh, so, let's see, but as the hunt for the terrorists uncovers dangerous secrets from both their past, Tesla and Dex Daxon realize that nothing and no one is what it seems. Hmm. I need to read this, like, ASAP. This looks really good. This looks really good. All right, well, that is everything that came in the June box from Lit Love Box. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Let me know what your favorite item is out of this box down in the comments below. And I will see you guys later. Bye.